don't get offended by facts, just try and listen. Nothing is more anti Semitic than Zionism. So, Obama promised Israel 30 billion over the next decade. How many more resolutions have to be violated? How many more, How many more children have to be annihilated? Israel is a terror state, they're terrorists that terrorize. I testify my television, televise them telling lies. This is not a war, it is systematic genocide. But whatever they try, Palestine will never die. Palestine, free, free, 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 Palestine, free
and a group of people uh, had different names before, uh, before anarchists against the world. We had the Jews against ghettos and other names. And in 2000, uh, in 2003, uh, that week, we were called anarchists against the wall. So because the media <coughs> gave us a lot of coverage, they didn't write anything about Palestinians being killed or being injured, by the way. Almost nothing about internationals. But when, Israel, when an Israeli Jewish person was shot, that was the media actually st started to care. The media actually started to notice something is there are people there. The idea for me I mean something. I mean, I, yeah, I consider them a terror organization, the biggest terror organization in the Middle East. But I know they're not there to um, directly terrorize me. The reason they terrorize me is because of the because the occupation terrorize me. But they terrorize them directly every day. This is not being terrorized by the IDF is a privilege. Um, not being terrorized by a terror organization is a privilege. That's how insane the Israeli society is. <coughs> and me being here tonight doesn't mean that you can normalize the Israeli society. Please don't normalize the Israeli society. I was, I was talking to a friend of mine and he said, you know, the only thing you should uh, worry about is uh, make sure not to, to present them a beautiful picture of Israel. And I was thinking, like, for 30 minutes, uh, how am I going to do that? Like, there's nothing beautiful about Israel. And then I realized that uh, the reason he said so is because me being here tonight might, for some of you, represent, okay, maybe the Israeli society has people who are okay, people who object to the occupation. <coughs> so here are the facts. Yes, there are people in Israel who object to the occupation. About 5%. Less than that to actually fight against the occupation on a regular basis. 5% of the people who object, who don't like, I'm not saying object or resist, but 5% uh, of the Israeli population didn't like what happened in, uh, didn't like the massacre in Gaza, didn't like the massacre on the flotilla. About 85% of the Israeli population agrees with pretty much everything that the Israeli government does, almost automatically. It doesn't matter how racist the laws we create are, it doesn't matter that we live in an apartheid state. They agree with them almost automatically, and that's because of the media. The media pretty much brainwashed us to believe, to believe that every Palestinian is a terrorist. My privileges are also, when we get arrested, yes, we often get arrested in the West Bank, but when I get arrested, I get arrested for uh, three hours to 12 hours, maybe 24, then they have to bring me in front of a judge. One Palestinian, I think the law here is 72 hours for any arrest uh, to be brought in front of a judge. Um, for Palestinians, it's not like that. They can sometimes sit in jail for a few months. Uh, without even having charges brought down against them. And if charges are brought down against them, um, they almost automatically get convicted. And the, the sentences that they get are much longer than an Israeli. I know very few activists who actually got sentenced to jail time, and usually that's because they refuse to pay a fine that they receive. But very few of us actually receive a sentence that means jail time. Um, so we don't spend often uh, more than 24 hours in jail. Uh, Palestinians, like I said, a few months, a few years, if they get convicted. Uh, also, the jails are completely segregated. Not just um, between Palestinians who live in Palestine and Israelis who live in Israel. Uh, those are completely segregated, same as the school, same as, it's not just socially segregated, it's legally segregated. Uh, and. Palestinians who live in the 48 occupied territories who have Israeli citizenship uh, also receive much uh, longer sentences in jail and um, the, the jails are kind of also segregated in that, which means that if I get arrested for uh, I know, doing drugs um, and a Palestinian Israeli woman is arrested for the same thing, I will probably go to jail for, I don't know, a few days. Uh, they will sit in jail for a lot longer than that, and different parts of jail, for the same felony exactly. So everything in Israel is completely segregated. This is why it's really important to remember that it's a Palestinian-led struggle, 